like you gotta watch my left hand because that's when I actually click the um, the, the thing the and mouse. turn the mouse and turn the uh, computer on, so you know okay. that we're recording. All right. But I notice that when you st sit in this part of the room, you start speaking in your like theater yeah. voice. <laughs> usually, <laughs> usually she mumbles. Usually she mumbles. Oh, you started already. Oh yes. Uh, hello. Good evening. Welcome to Fido Live eighty nine. Don't mumble. <laughs> And you also clean up your Boston accent when you come over here. That's right. Hmm. I don't have a Boston accent. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, let me get the <laughs> microphone set. Uh, all right. Uh, well, the person who, who beat the Boston accent out of me actually passed away today. Uh, that's good to hear. Charles, don't be an <laughs> ass. You beat the accent out of you. All right. Um, in a good way. I don't mean that. Don't be an Okay, let's see what the chief colorist hath yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um Oh, did I say hello, good evening, welcome to Fido. This is uh, Fido Live 89. Yes, 89. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, here is the chief colorist work. We've already recorded this. It's already out of the way. So we don't have to um, do much more than just show it to you folks. Um, Bo Dino and Fido. Uh, the, the Dino is yelling Fido's name. I'm not going to yell his name because, <coughs> well, I'm saving my voice for the cat boss. <laughs> mm. All right. <clears throat> Fido, uh, whatever happened, I didn't do it. I've been here all day. And the apartment's ruined. You know, the golf club through the TV, couches knocked over, plant destroyed. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> so I'm going to pass this one to the chief colorist. From here, it goes straight into cold storage, never to be seen again. All right, here is um, Tuesday, the 26th. We have um, Dino, Felicia, Fido. And um, this is this should have been part of like a longer series of stuff I've been written or writing. Uh, but, oh well, it just it appeared here. <clears throat> I am sick and tired of hearing about the differences between dogs and cats. Let me tell you the difference between pets and humans. Humans are in charge. Yeah, that's great. Now get off my couch. Mm, yeah, okay. Get off my couch, get off buddy. My couch. Yes. All right. Let's send that over to the uh, colorist way over there, and mm -hmm. never to be seen again. Uh, here is Wednesday, the uh, twenty seventh. Looks like we uh, screwed up the baseboard right there. Oh well. Gee, I don't know how it gets so dirty. <laughs> it's already been recorded. This is going to cold storage. I know, now. but even so, it's, when it's colored. I have no idea what you're talking about. So, um, <clears throat> we have Fido, Felicia, and uh, uh, Bogash. Is it true that humans think they rule the world? Yes, we do. But you work to feed us and do what we want. Yes, Felicia, because you're a good little kitty. I've always known cats rule the world. I don't know where you got that. I was here first. <laughs> All right, Wednesday, and that goes off into cold storage. Mm -hmm. Here is Thursday, and I actually remember this. I had the chief colors redo this, so let's let's get to I it. I had a theme. <clears throat> I think it would be fun to be a human, says Fido. Oh, I don't know, says Felicia. You could sit around and eat all day, but then we'd be fat. And then suddenly we have a, a version of Fido and Felicia as humans, fat humans. And I'm going to go chase a squirrel. That sounds like fun. Wait for me. You have a theme, you say. Well, originally I had done Felicia with sort of a bluish, purplish hue to her her skin tone. She looked like a zombie. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It was not my best idea. Mm. But the uh, the cartoonist was wisely uh, um, editing and sent it back to me and said no. But I did <laughs> notice. See how she got the slight purple, well, bluish on her paws. So she got bluish on her feet. Yep. And the hair, so you know, even the makeup. You know. Around the neck. Oh, yes. Yeah, the, yep. neck, the collar. Yep. And uh, I guess she used the same brown for Fido's hair and mustache. I did. Yeah. Yep. So, there we go. Fido is a human. And a lighter tone for Fido's skin. We shall uh, never see that again. Why not? <coughs> Fido's a human? Mm -hmm. An alternative universe. Okay. That's There's the hippest thing to do now. Thursday. Isn't it? Yes. Okay, and Friday, where are they in Friday? But in a bar. Uh, we have the cat boss, Bo Dino Fido. Um, to encourage you to develop more bad habits, I have installed this lottery machine. 
You can now gamble while you drink. That doesn't look like a usual state lottery machine. Of course it isn't. You'd have a chance to win on one of those. <laughs> so now what I'm thinking is because I generally do this with continuity. Yeah. Every time I draw this bar now, I've got to have that damn lottery machine on the end of, <laughs> on the, end of the bar. You might as yeah, well because better. you might as well. That's been a wasted bit of territory anyway. Sure, why not? <laughs> I'm just thinking when I draw the characters from like this angle, mm -hmm. they're gonna be hiding behind the lottery machine. <laughs> As you, this is this is the most. Well, maybe you can maybe you can think of a reason angle. why the lottery machine's gone. Mm -hmm. All right, let's send that over to the chief colors to disappear forever. All right, we have Saturday here. Um, last of the chief colors works. We have Fido staring off into the distance here in the foreground, and um. Bogash says, what do dogs think about? And they start joking around, squirrels, food, and less. Revenge. Oh, no. Huh? A squirrel stole my food. All right. It all ties in together. Yeah. And actually, that is the end of the month. Um, as yes. I've been bragging the past couple of weeks, we are now into April. I've already got the first... Ooh, there we go. Irving, camera one. Yeah, I already got the first week of April done right here, up here, and we get to see this today. This is what I've been working on so hard all week, just for you folks. All right, let's see what we got. Wednesday, it is Tuesday, it is Monday. By the way, Thursday. Take your indignity with a little worse for wear. Yes, well, well, they will, they will have to uh, deal with themselves for the moment, because I'm doing no. a show here. No, I know. Just, just, learning you to get a, mm. a little, you know, disheveled. Our, and... our children, as it were. Uh, <coughs> no. They're more like our representation. <clears throat> when I was a child, I had a uh, stuffed animal, Tigger, from Winnie the Pooh. And we had a wood-burning stove, and my sisters would torture me by having a Tigger burning party where they would threaten to burn my treasured stuffed animals in the fire. So when he told me this story, <laughs> the very first Christmas that we were together, I gave him a Tigger mm. doll. So we still have it. And then do we tell them how As far dignity? as dignity goes, we went to a uh, really low rent circus where they had someone guessing your age and weight. And well, I forced her on that and she lost her dignity. Thus, you know, when the guy Politely, when the guy politely was unable to guess her age and weight, uh, she won the stuffed animal. <laughs> yes, that was a very sweet young man who clearly <laughs> either is very, very bad at his job or is just a <laughs> darling person who did not care if he gave me a stuffed dog. Okay, I've already erased these, so they're ready to go to you for work right now. Here is Monday. Uh, oh. This would be April Fool's Day. I should note that April Fool's Day has always been like a big day on Fight of the Comic Strip. We always do an April Fool's Day joke. It's like our Christmas. Um, and I generally always play an April Fool's Day joke on my wife. Let me share one of those jokes with you. <clears throat> we, uh, our car, uh, we, well, we purchased it brand new, as it were. Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, seized the the engine oil seized up because I had not changed the oil. I did later learn actually that was a uh, factory default, but defect. But never mind. Uh, we had to put a new engine in the car, and I'm looking around for engines. And I call her at work, and I said, "Okay, I found an engine for the car, but um, there's a little bit of a problem. Uh, our, our Kia is a four cylinder, probably like 110 horsepower." I say, well, this new engine is um, 400 horsepower, and uh, <laughs> well, in order to get it in there, we're going to have to, you know, upgrade a few things. We're going to, you know, upgrade the suspension. We have to upgrade the brakes, <laughs> and, and she, she's still buying this at this point. <laughs> and then we have to uh, put on racing stripes and like spinners on the wheel, I mean, like a, a, a fin. I think that was when I caught on. <laughs> like what? <laughs> no. <clears throat> yeah, I had it going for a while. She's like, ah, how much? <laughs> <laughs> well, I got a little concerned. <laughs> well, 
<laughs> well, poor Amy never caught the 400 horsepower engine. No, nor the racing stripes. <clears> oh, <throat> the racing stripes? Oh, the spinners on the wheels. Oh, the spinners, yeah. All right, uh, here we go. This is April Fool's Day. Um, we have Bo and Dino, and they're at Fido's homework eating stand. and We're going to play an April Fool's Day joke on Felicia. Sort of a hazing for the new guy, a, girl, a cat a, a thingy. Sounds good. How do you play a joke on a cat? We were hoping you knew. Mm, we could make her feel welcome. Nah, that'd be too cruel. <laughs> so, there's my week at April Fool's Day joke. Usually, um, people, when they do an April Fool's Day joke, they mm -hmm. uh, completely supplant the, uh, the, the, the comic strip. Uh, a lot of the comic strips, they have another cartoonist draw it in their own style, etc., etc. Oh, okay. So, um... Okay, I'm going to supplant the comic strip myself. So on April 2nd, okay. we have, um, Dino, is that you? Bogash, I haven't seen you since high school. How have you been? Well, as you probably know, since college, I sold my startup and have been doing charity work. Let me introduce you to the wife and kids. Looks like we both have been successful. Yeah, April Fool's Day was yesterday, guys. <laughs> now look, we have uh, Dino with hair. Oh, we have my. Fido with a full tail, and he's on all fours with a oh leash my. on. Oh, my. And uh, we have a woman here who is not Jane, who is his wife with two kids. Oh, with my goodness. Bogash wearing a turtleneck. Dino in a full suit with, as, as I said, hair. Wow. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to send this one to the chief colorist to do her magic with. <clears throat> so here is Wednesday. In uh -huh. sense of, we may or may not actually use Tuesdays. Um, that's sort of too much inside baseball, and you, this might be the only appearance it ever has. Okay. So I wanted something a little bit funnier for Wednesday. Um, we have Fido and Felicia inside a store with Dino and Bogash, and she's got one of those. Remember the baby on board signs? They were a little bit about this big. So. Uh, a little bit bigger, uh, you know, the yellow signs. Are you over 40? Yeah, baby on board. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I also remember the car, the Garfield that used to st yeah. uh, stick, stick to the window with suction cups. Well, anyway, she's got a sign saying cat on board. Yeah, with, um, yeah. I'm looking at Irving, camera one. I absolutely cannot see that. But see, she's got a sign saying cat on board. And she says, put this in a car window. <laughs> and Fido says, no, we want people not to hit us. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got a sign dog on board put this in the window we want people to fear us <laughs> and Bo grabs a sign I'm getting this what's that for I want people to pity me and the sign says owner of a dog and cat oh. alright there we go That's that goes to the chief colors for her work <coughs> alright I've done all the erasing too wow I uh, should get a uh my glove here. Okay, here is Thursday. Gee, nearly the entire week is done. Um, I don't know how many days you have in a week, but... Uh. <laughs> yeah. Well, <clears throat> yeah, anyone might remember from last week, uh, Catherine, the crazy cat lady who now lives downstairs. I have to take one of my cats to the vet again. When you have so many cats, doctor visits are nearly perpetual. <laughs> You take your cats to a veterinarian? I thought they were disposable. Wow, she treats them like dogs. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to believe you. No, uh, continuity problem, Mr. Cosi. Uh, what's that? Send it back. Bo's pants. Bo's pants. Let's see what the continuity issue is with Bo's. Oh, I just haven't done the um. Yeah. I haven't done the texture yet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Put that aside. I'll get it back to you in a minute. I'm not mm -hmm. looking around that now. Okay, I'm going to give this one back to you. Um, give this one to you, that is. Mm -hmm. Seems to be all the erasure is done, I guess. Uh, all right, and the Chief Colors can do her magic on Thursday. Here is Friday. We'll probably be inking this today. How's it look on camera? Oh, you can still see it. We have um, Bo, Fido, Dino, and later Felicia. <clears throat> Want to see a movie tonight? And Fido says, I want to see a movie with dogs in it. I can identify with that. 
Ha! Are you that self-absorbed? Must you insert yourself in everything? Says Felicia. Oh, all right. Besides, all the good movies have cats in them. <laughs> I don't know. Kind of like uh, Felicia's action chairs knocking over the glasses and still, you know, get that cross hands with the arm up. All right, we'll be doing the inking on that one probably today. Toss it up on the magnets. And here is Saturday, which just got rough penciling. You there on the camera can hardly see it. But um, I'll tell you what's going on here. We have the movie theater. We have Fido, Bo, Felicia, and Dino uh, sitting in the movie seats. This one's from um, Fido's angle. And the second panel is from Felicia's angle. Third panel is from Fido's angle. And the fourth panel is head on. So Fido's complaining, she's got more popcorn than me. They're the same size. And Felicia throws her popcorn at them. Here, have some of mine. And then Fido winds up to throw his drink. Whoops, I spilled my drink. And now, since Bo's in between them, he's covered in both popcorn and drink. <laughs> standing up, you know, to clean himself off. While you're up, I need another drink. I'll have a large popcorn. <laughs> um. Uh, we haven't done penciling in a long time, so uh, this is actually a great opportunity for me to sharpen this uh, black wing up. Uh, yeah. You might remember these pencils. They're, they're fantastic. Uh, Award-winning black wing pencils. Mm. Don't bother reading that, because I still don't know what living mindfully is. <clears throat> Put a point on that. Uh, I need to get a glove. Because as everyone knows, cartoonists are the dirtiest, filthiest creatures on the face of the planet. And I must wear a glove. The gloves were over there behind the popcorn. <laughs> yeah, I had my husband making popcorn. I wanted popcorn. Okay, and um, since we have pencil marks here, I generally do the pencil with uh, Dixon Ticonderoga, which is Great pencil in the, well, they call themselves the world's greatest pencil because um, it's easy to erase. It's also very easy to smudge. So I, I thought, get a, I thought you were going to say they call themselves the world's greatest pencil because they can. <laughs> well, so uh, <clears throat> in order to avoid smudging my pencil mark, I usually, I've got to put down a piece of paper. And uh, yeah, I can probably use this. Or, or, or whatever, uh, uh, but well, um, would be the fun in that. But yeah, where would be the fun in that? I'd rather do this bit. Hey, does anyone know that um, Scarlett Johansson is going to be in Jurassic World Four? Uh -huh. I got the Velociraptor in the background here saying, "Clever girl." But is that real? Oh, I don't know. Um, you heard it. Here, you heard it here first. Scarlett Johansson. This is not whatsoever a computer illustration. Those are actually her hands. See, see, Scarlett knows how to hold an assault rifle, as you can see here. Look at that muscular female arm, and she hasn't, look at her nails. <laughs> she hasn't done her nails. <laughs> and look, she's got a serious Scarlett Johansson scowl on her face as she yeah, looks like off her. into the... <laughs> like her. You leave her alone. <laughs> leave Scarlett Johansson alone. Stick a chicken in it. Make her lame and gay. <laughs> <laughs> we have a new James <laughs> Bond. This is Aaron Taylor Johnson. And uh, can a man with a hyphenated last name not be a douchebag? Well, we'll find out. <laughs> oh, so, so wrong. <laughs> well, first time I saw him, he had this like big old porn stash. You know, something like you'd see Ron Jeremy wearing. And here we go, let's see. What's That's, he's been in, do you know? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, but first time I saw him, he had this big porn stash. I said, ooh, you gotta shave that. <laughs> All right. Um, George Lucas has decided to back um, the Disney board in this whole uh, Nelson Peltz... The White uh, Slavers? Yeah, the, indeed, yes, the White Slavers in this whole Nelson Peltz uh, issue. And the internet is going mad. You were supposed to be the chosen one. And, and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you were <laughs> uh, George's quote is, creating magic is not for amateurs. <laughs> 
Yeah, it's not for Disney either. Um, the other two guys that are going against him are not amateurs. Yeah. Well, one of quote. yeah, I know. Yeah. Anyway, one of the um, uh, well, sorry. The joke I made was that George like wanted Disney to continue to s- destroy Star Wars because if they did a good job with it, it'd make him look bad. <laughs> but Paul Chato went even further. He did a brilliant little phone call where George called him. Now, uh, George has been secretly trying to sabotage Disney for all this time so that he can buy it on the cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking I'll... of sabotaging Disney so you can buy it on the cheap, uh, we've all seen the Acolyte uh, pre- preview. And uh, I guess the Acolyte was inspired by this Disney whiteboard where they were talking about uh, with a Disney um, um, Lucasfilm writing. Um, oh. The dinosaurs and yeah, we have and all that. authentically lived in universe surprise diversity, uh, something ending feelings, <laughs> relatable mm-hmm. characters, uh, uh, do, 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 do. space fighter, not about war, the force, uh, <laughs> <laughs> about war. no guns and whatever. It's so anyway, Star Wars, anyway, what we've seen of the acolyte with uh, the shockingly square jawed. Uh, Harvey Weinstein acolyte. Uh, she says it's not about good or evil, but p- but about power and who can use it. Okay, now we we we've told these people to to to, to write what you know, but <laughs> that's enough. <laughs> Harvey, uh, uh, well, 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 she didn't she did not want to tell uh, anyone what Harvey Weinstein was doing to all those starlets and. All she can see in her life is, well, you know, how to be evil. So, so of course, she has to write things from the point of view of an evil woman. What can I say? Uh, This is going to be legendarily lame. (laughs) And gay. And there's a chicken in it. Mm -hmm. Uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife has come out. And uh, the big thing that everyone is noticing is there was probably a heavily edited scene with a lesbian ghost. I don't know how a ghost can be a lesbian, but anyway, she's playing chess with her in the park. And uh, Oh, by the way, uh, don't bother buying these uh, $200 jackets. Uh, Actually, no, I think the $280 jackets, because they don't really appear in the film anyway. They're just trying to rip you off. Um, That's egregious. That's just ridiculous. Watch... Uh, WTC, watch this on streaming. Oh no, I just wrote something down. Oh no. <laughs> Usually when I write something down, it ends up being the title. Yeah, but, but we've only been recording for like three minutes. I have we've been recording. Uh, 23 minutes. Oh, so okay. anyway, um, watch this on streaming. Uh, everyone's saying it's not worth seeing in the movie theater. And well... Don't encourage Sony to make another one. <laughs> we watched part of the Red Letter Media guys, and they said that their theater was empty. I'm pretty sure it was. Mm-hmm. Uh, everyone remembers Mr. DeMeo here in the X-Men. The X-Men uh, show has been um, seen by many people, the first three episodes. They do this all the time with you. Did, um, they The first couple of episodes are good, and then the rest goes to hell. These first couple of episodes are good. We can't give... Do, do we give them the benefit of the doubt that the rest of the season will be good? No. It doesn't matter. It's on Disney+. Plus. No one's going to see it on Disney+. Plus. <laughs> might, as well, might as well air it in a theater on the fucking moon. Um, <laughs> Sydney Sweeney. Does, she, she has her own production company, you know. No, I, <clears> I was not aware of that. I, I thought she was like this, mi- this minor starlet. Well, she's got her mm. movie out now. Her new movie. Uh, what's it called? Uh, oh, she produced that herself? Yeah, yeah. What's her new movie called? Oh, mm-hmm. it's got a different name. Yeah, and I can't think Cindy of it Cindy right came now. from the uh, Madam Web. Oh, yeah. I think we're going to be... I think we're going to have to make a lot of use of this. Ariel, clear the board. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Sydney Sweeney's dress. You know, she looks a little bit rough there. Let me put you here. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> she looks like she needs a shower. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Chief Colors, check this out. Well, she's got this d- dress which shows off her boobs. She looks like she needs a shower. Mm, she looks like she just came out of the shower. <laughs> yeah, she looks like she... Okay, fine. Looks like she just came out of the shower. 
<laughs> didn't drive yeah. yeah, didn't, didn't, didn't like do anything with her. Yeah. Like, and I, I'm thinking, you know, she, she's holding this, whatever this dress is, she has to hold it in place with her hand here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. But, yeah, yeah, she knows how to, she knows how to please her audience. Uh, her new film, what's it called? Uh, it's, uh, I have Despair it here? or something like that, or? <coughs> Immaculate. <coughs> Immaculate. Yeah. Oh, it was close. <laughs> yeah, um, it's like a seventies era devil, um, uh, devil uh, oh, drama. Oh, it's a horror. It's a horror thing. Horror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, she is a, a nun, believe it or not. What a waste. I'll, I'll say not. <laughs> yeah, she said, believe it or not. No, I'll say not. Yeah, well, I was just saying. I had to look up what the title was, and the title's right here on my page. I didn't know it was immaculate. So anyway, um, and she has, and uh, well, she gets pregnant as a nun. Uh, as it was an immaculate conception. Oh, hmm. you! Catholic. I guess it turns out to be the uh, devil's child, whatever. You funny uh, cat, with mm, you? Mm. So I'd like to keep Sydney here, but she looks kind of, you know, like you know, she she needs a towel. I should, you know, dry her, maybe even blow dry her hair. Actually, she kind of, you know what? Not that she got out of the shower, but she just like came off of a beach where she went for a little swim. Fine. Like, yeah. Luana. Throw on like a like a cover up. Yeah. Not yeah. a real dress. Yeah, Sydney Sydney like doesn't look yeah. <clears throat> So, uh, let's get back to Disney. Everyone remember that uh, Sarah Pauly, the Canadian filmmaker, writer and political activist and retired actress, who uh, won the Academy Award for Best Writing and Adapted Screenplay for Woman Talking, uh, is no longer going to make the live action Bambi film. Oh no. Oh no. How can we live without a live action Bambi film? I, 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 very, I, mm. very easily. <laughs> Since Sean Bailey, the guy who was in charge of all the live action crap at Disney, was fired, she's out as well. So, no live action Bambi directed by uh, the activist writer. Let's see, we're going to oh, put this crap yeah, going on top of James Gary, Bond over there. Gary Bueller's going to have to erase that from his calendar. <laughs> you know, if they made a live action uh, Bambi, I think Gary would have had to put an addition on his house. That's true. That's true. Hmm. All right. Um, in serious news, uh, some um, men um, went into a Russian... Uh, Oh, don't make fun of that. I'm not making fun <laughs> of it. They went into a Russian opera house or a Russian theater and mm -hmm. shot the place up and then burnt it down. It took the Russian police one hour to respond. Oh. The firemen were there first and they tried to put out the fire, but the gunmen were still there and they couldn't work on the fire. And the gunmen went in with backpacks full of some sort of incendiary devices, Molotov cocktails, whatever. And... Um, they, the, the gunman got away. He took the uh, the police. Oh, I didn't know that. He got away. They got all, um, all, they, a bunch of them. They, they oh. uh, it, it took them that long to, 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 for the police to get there. And you might remember the the famous Russian spetsnaz. You know, they um, they had a hostage situation a few years ago, mm -hmm. and they they just tossed poison gas into the theater and gassed everyone. You know, including the, the hostages. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, that's so, the way to fix you know, that. Well, these yeah. guys are you know, usually a little bit... Um, off? Well, not off. I'm saying a little, a little bit aggressive. Aggressive. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll but by the time that. these big Rambos arrived, uh, well, I'm surprised. The, well, the, the, the Spetsnaz are probably in Ukraine, which is why it took them so long to get there. <laughs> well, probably... But anyway, they were, the Russians want to blame the Ukrainians. The Americans are saying that uh, it was ISIS, um, uh, Islamic terrorists. So. Oh, I thought it was radical Russians. Uh, I mean, you're right. Yeah, who knows? So, um, remember last week I brought up this bit about the um, president of France with his, yes. um, uh, with his wife, um, who was so much older than him? What's that gentleman doing now? Well, apparently he wants to go into Ukraine with the French army. Macron says nothing's ruled out, including using Western troops to stop Russia from winning the war in Ukraine. While the... <laughs> well... Sure. <laughs> well, us in America, like, don't want anything to do with this. The French... Uh, pfft, the French want to go in and... and, and, and <laughs> Who are we to stop them? Go for it, Johnny Frenchman. Um, bring in the Foreign Legion, get anyone, uh, whatever. Um, I, 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 I fully support you, Mr. Macron. And um, as long as it keeps American soldiers out of there, because I'm tired of America being the uh, uh, 
the policemen of the world. We'll we'll send you all the useless um, tanks and, and Bradleys that you want and, and artillery systems that we're never going to use. Um, you can have them all. Oh, really? Are we stuck with Sydney Sweeney? We Stop had with. we oh well, we had her last week. I mean, and she doesn't even look good this week. I gotta find a better piece of paper to inspire me. Huh? We can't do Macron. Yeah. See, we, see, remember we had this last week. And I have mm-hmm. Sydney again this week. Uh, mm-hmm. It'd be a real bummer to have the uh, Washington Post up there with the. Uh, the no, uh, I don't think we want to leave. And that. we definitely don't want to deal with Sarah Pauly. The. Uh, oh well, I guess we got Scarlet Scar Joe here. We can talk about. All right, there we go. I'm happy with Scar Joe, as. Our paper of the day. We yeah. like Scarlett Johansson. All right. Um, am I missing anything else? Let's see. What did I write um, on? I don't know. What that might be. On. That might be. You wrote watching on watching on streaming. Ah yes, I think we did Ghostbuster. No, let's pull. Yeah, here we go. Watch this on streaming. Yeah, the other piece of paper here is Ghostbusters watching on streaming. Are we going to talk about Ghostbusters, or do we get Scar Joe? We just watched Ghostbusters, the first one, a couple of days ago. Yes. It showed up. Wow, did I sharpen them. that pencil? I just sharpened that pencil, but it doesn't look good. We haven't done penciling on Fido Live for a long time. Um, Irving, camera one, would you like zoom in on this so that the folks at home might be able to see what we're doing? Well, thank you, Irving. That's, 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 he's, that's, uh, he's such a good cameraman. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Can, especially considering he's free. Yeah. And we can take a look at Scarlet and Jurassic World 4. Clever girl. Oh, there goes my tip already. That's what she said. <laughs> so... <clears throat> Typical uh, bratty kid behavior. She's got more popcorn than I do. See, I I was a very bratty kid. They couldn't take me anywhere. That was a lovely, well-behaved Yeah, I know, because you were all by yourself. If you had brothers and sisters, you'd know how to properly behave like a bratty kid. (laughs) Let's get a little lip on this. Um, the popcorn bucket for the uh, Dune film. I was just going to ask you if that's what you're doing. No, 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 no. They're, they're not seeing Dune. Mm-hmm. It's just a standard popcorn bucket. <clears throat> so when I drew this originally, I did the perspective and got all the seats in and then put in Dino, then I put in Felicia, then I put in Bo and then Fido. So every time I'm drawing, I'm erasing what's underneath it. So I still have to remember that this seat, I have this leg for the arm here, which I can't forget, which covers over Fido. So everything. And then we do his butt here, and even a tail. What the hell? I had plain on tail. And his arm is still around the popcorn bucket. So we see it just underneath the. Uh, arm here of the ta- of the chair. Uh, usually popcorn buckets have, I'm going to do this a striped popcorn bucket so the chief colorist can do like red white stripes. Sure. Like that. And he's got a big coke here because that's part of the joke he throws his coke at them. Mm-hmm. So. All right, there's there's Fido in the foreground. Actually, you, it looks better on the camera than it does uh, in my own eyes. Let's get that pencil sharp. Because your own eyes are too critical. Oh, you can see cl- bigger close-up. I probably should be drawing this with a magnifying glass so I can... But then I'd be drawing it too small. Yeah, never mind. And you, 
<laughs> you have to find somebody else to color it because I don't know if I can color something that small. I always have to be cautious not to do too much fine detail because this comic strip is just shrunk down to about that size. You know, about that size and all the detail is lost. That's why I started working with a brush originally. It just um, allowed me to... Uh, it forced me not to um, do too much detail. Chief Colors, are you busy at the moment? Would you be kind enough to go into the refrigerator and get me a soda? Or as you, call, as you call it a soda, or as I would call it, a Coke? Well, but not all sodas are Cokes, and not all Cokes are soda. No, that's not true. Well, in this case, all <laughs> sodas are Cokes, because we only drink we Coke only Zero around no, here. No, 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 there's diet, um, what's we call it in there? Uh, Dr. Pepper. I'm not going to drink Dr. Pepper. I know, but, but I'm just saying, I'm hmm. Have I ever used a straw? I don't know. I don't think so, but I don't know. Mm. All right, he's got a popcorn bucket here, so let's fill it up a bit. I just um, remembered that, yeah, I don't think Bo's popcorn bucket was drawn in any of the other panels. So I have to remember to give Bo his popcorn bucket back. All uh, right now, arm. That's about all you see of his arm. You may have to come forward a little bit. I don't know how much I can. Uh, yeah. Hold on to that. <clears throat> I'll take it to colors. You're <clears throat> welcome. All right, back to work. I never in my life called it soda. <laughs> I got that from her. I used to call it tonic, so. Even worse, tonic. I know, that's oh. what I'm saying. At least it's soda now. Uh, it was tonic for a very long time. That's my entire how, childhood. How very Bostonian of you. Really? I thought tonic was Bostonian. Yeah, I know. That's what I said. How very Bostonian of you. Oh, I thought you said not very oh. Bostonian of you. Oh, okay. I got confused to what you said. All right, let's put another point on this pencil. Now we got to draw Felicia way back there in the background. And I need to get the proper disdain on Felicia's face. Oh, Felicia, she's filled with such disdain. The most important part about cartooning is emotion. We are, we are drawing emotion here. And you have to design your characters to give you the breadth and depth of human feelings and emotions. And there's her hand right there on the popcorn bucket. Probably yeah. grabbing it with an idea that she's getting ready to throw it. And I do have to put more popcorn. See, Fido's popcorn is down here, like below the lid. So actually, Fido's complaint mm -hmm. that she has more popcorn in him mm -hmm. is valid. <laughs> but maybe because Fido ate his popcorn, who knows? <laughs> yeah, but she still has more. It mm -hmm. doesn't matter how or why, mm -hmm. she still has more. That's not there. And always draw a cat's tail. Cat, that tail is very important to a cat. And over here, she's got a soda herself. What's soda? A Coke herself. <laughs> my wife has uh, destroyed my. Uh, what, huh? My uh, uh, the the way I I talk, <laughs> the way I talk. <laughs> Destroy some of the weight. <laughs> I'd like to get rid of some of your, uh, uh, oh shoot, what's the term? Crude expressions. All right, and there's Dino there in the background. He's not paying any attention. He's actually not in the strip. 
but, but since, it's a pay to play. <laughs> it's a pay or play contract. Well, since he was he was in the bar on the Friday strip when when Bo actually asked Dino if he wanted to go see a film, Fido had decided that he was going to insert himself and well, you can't bring Fido anywhere without bringing bringing Felicia. Uh, yes, rather than the two heterosexual gentlemen going to see a film together, I'm guessing they're seeing. Ghostbusters. <laughs> well, let's talk about Ghostbusters. <laughs> it's a good movie, you know. You know, I I have I have no desire to see the new oh. Ghostbusters from Sony, and Sony so desperately wants to uh, have uh, a franchise. Uh, Sony. Let go. Did we see Afterlife? We saw it on streaming. Did Watch we? this on streaming. Did we? I don't even remember it. <laughs> My goodness. Uh, Irving Cameron One. Uh, let's let's zoom this out. I guess we have a title. <laughs> I honestly, the only parts of that movie that I remember, I feel like, are the trailers. Whatever. So I think I might have the clips. So I think I might have zoned out when we had it on. Or something. Um, let's see what we remember of Ghostbusters Afterlife. It was more or less um, Stranger Things. Because they had Finn Wolfhart. What's his name? Yeah. Well, no, that's his name. That's his, his given name. Okay, well, no. They, they had all the kids. That made, they, to give you that whole nostalgia thing. Millie Bobby Brown. Uh, yeah. What what did Millie Bobby Brown just did something really embarrassing? What was it? Uh, mm -hmm. Oh my goodness! What was it? My memory is killing me here. Millie Bobby Brown just did something incredibly embarrassing. Okay. Like to the world or just uh, well, uh, to certain people? Uh, let's say you know, um, bad acting. Oh, bad acting! Oh, mm. she did a movie. You mean? It was yeah. Oh, she did um, yeah, um. Yeah, you told me about this. It has a weird name, too. Like Immaculate, but not Immaculate. <laughs> it's not Immaculate. Okay. I've got to um, look closely here to try to figure out what's going on. Now here's the arm of the chair, and here's the arm of the chair. <laughs> here. Damsel. Damsel. Okay, so Millie Bobby Brown is living in a, like, poor kingdom. And her father um, makes a treaty with a, with a rich kingdom to marry her off to the prince of the rich kingdom. Now you think this would be a great deal because their kingdom has nothing to offer. Usually, if you're going to have a wedding, you know, there's going to be a dowry of some sort. There's no dowry. Um, and in fact, they're getting money from Millie Bobby Brown. <laughs> uh, so she goes off and uh, is is surprised when um, she learns that she's dragon food. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that again? I'm going to be eaten by the dragon. <laughs> but she's so she's the girl bossiest girl boss in the world. I mean, she's got this upper body strength that you would not imagine because she's. I think she, we see her cutting wood early in the in the film. She's got this upper body strength you would not imagine. And she's like climbing walls with a, 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 with a, a little pick that she, that she makes herself, and, and and she's fighting the dragon, and and in the end, the dragon joins her because <laughs> she's such a girl bossiest girl boss. Uh. But yeah, don't don't watch that one on streaming. <laughs> <laughs> Just avoid at all costs. Yeah. So um, yeah, the original Ghostbusters Afterlife was it just sort of had that small town America feel to it that everyone was looking well, was happy to see because well the 2017 one with all the comedians in quotation mm -hmm. female comedians you know, wasn't any good. Uh, I like Paul Feig. 
He's a good man. He's a funny guy, but he just lost control of that one. So lost he lost control. He lost control over all of them. Yeah, yeah. Now he's in director's jail. Probably will not see much from him ever again. <clears throat> It's surprising, like some directors, they make one mistake and, well, that that's it, they're gone. And then we got Ryan Johnson and... And, <laughs> and, and, and he's allowed to make 500 mistakes. Jeez, <laughs> um, I, I, I wish I had prepared this bit. <laughs> <laughs> of all the directors who have done horrible jobs and still get work. <laughs> J.J. Oh, J. Abrams. Actually, J.J.'s in, in the director's prison now for uh, the last Star Wars film. But you know, he did the best he could. He's trying to trying to fix Ryan's mess. <laughs> who who would have thought it was unfixable? <laughs> that was so unfixable. <clears throat> so, uh, the Ghostbusters film, um, the new one, is fine, but... It, Sony, don't. But it's just fine. Sony, you don't need to make another one. This is, you know. Yeah. We're good. Yeah. We're, all, we're solid. Yeah. I got an idea, Sony. In about 50, 60 years from now, make another, make another one. <laughs> <laughs> I got an idea, Sony. Think of a different idea. I got a better idea, Sony. Stop making films! <laughs> There's that, too. My God, Amy Pascal is the uh, head over there at Sony. And she makes Kathleen Kennedy look competent. <laughs> <laughs> and that's going some. Hey, I got Kathleen Kennedy in it in this episode. Get out your bingo cards. <laughs> now, who would have thought it? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Sony, stop making films. <laughs> I'll never say this about any other, uh, oh, perhaps, you know, Lucas. Uh, well, well okay. okay, Lucas films, stop making yeah. films. But Sony, uh, Disney? Disney, yeah. Yeah, yeah you're going to say this about a lot. <laughs> My a goodness. Lot yeah, I guess you're right. Different places, a lot of studios. They, they just lack the talent. Yeah. It all, it's 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 a it's a problem all all over Hollywood, and we, you see on the internet there are like dozens, maybe hundreds of um, people giving writing courses. That if any of these Hollywood writers watched any of them, it would improve their products. <laughs> <laughs> Is this whole writing course given just off the Last Jedi? <laughs> about how bad that film is and where you and could how to, not write like and, how not to write like that and actually like simple fixes that any moron could have done that w w would have made it a better film but Ryan Johnson is not that moron <laughs> <laughs> he's not just any moron he's not any moron he's a special moron <laughs> he wears that helmet no, <laughs> he rode the that. short bus to school let's not go there I have not done the uh, Fido homework eaten. Although, actually, is it the same? Yeah, I guess it is. It is the same. Uh, it's the same stand. Yeah, but I haven't done that scene in a while. Yeah. Um, he generally just puts a sign over that. The homework yeah. eaten is the default state of the stand. Yeah, but then he sometimes puts it here. <clears throat> Fido land of merchandise and a bunch of other stuff. It's just I, I haven't used the Fido homework eating sign in such a long time. I figured just, yeah. Yeah. I think the, um, it's a ripoff of uh, Charles Schultz, uh, Peanuts, uh, mm -hmm. psychiatrist mm -hmm. help book uh, booth that Lucy ran. I think the um, chair is a new addition, too. I don't remember. Yep, he's never had a chair before. But I, I, I like the look of him sitting there with his yep. hands behind his... Yep. Yeah, his back just kind of mm. chilling. 
Well, it's like they're coming to him. He's like the Godfather. Oh, yeah, okay. Looking at Goofy over his shoulder. You come to me the day of my daughter's wedding. Oh, if anyone um, is interested, uh, that whole thing about uh, going to a dawn on the day of his daughter's wedding, uh, you know, he can't refuse you. He can absolutely refuse any friggin' thing you want. So, no, no, that that's not true. <laughs> but give it a try. See what happens. All right, let's see. So, from Fido's point of view to the left, Felicia's point of view to the right. So in the third one, we're back on Fido's point of view as he's winding up with his drink. Let's get a point on that pencil. And see, I, I drew this line here for the center of the gravity of his body. So we get him tilted back as he's winding up to throw the soda. <laughs> now, if you're going to say it, say it right. Soda. <laughs> soda, soda. Well, I don't say soda. Yeah. Soda. soda. That's, a, that's a proper Boston accent. Mm -hmm. I think so dear is Midwestern, you know, because they, 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 do, they do stuff like uh, winder uh, for window. Oh, yeah. You, they I don't know add how I got soda, mm. to be honest with you. Like I said, it used to be tonic. Yeah. I know, but that's what it was always called in my house. And tonic. What we'll do is we'll have the cup bending slightly because he's winding up, so. Oh, did I tell you? <laughs> I don't think I told you. I found this really funny, and I don't know. <laughs> when Tammy brought me dinner at my mother's um, place, uh, she said she really wanted to go get Tab and, and uh, Papa Gino's pizza. Because <laughs> that's what, what we used to eat when we were kids at my house all the time. <laughs> uh, huh. Do they even make Tab Cola anymore? I don't know. We had a uh, dean of the university at Suffolk who only drank Tab, would not drink anything else. And it was part of his um, assistant's job to find tab to <coughs> for him for all the functions. Mm. And it got to be hard after a while. Mm. It's kind of a medicine-y drink. They, you know, back then they would make diet soda a little bit on the um, on the on the um, bitter. bitter side. Thank you, mm -hmm. because people would not believe that they were uh, eat drinking a sugar-free drink. If it actually tasted good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's see. My, my mother drank Tab and My mother drank vodka and fresca. <laughs> Close. As we were sitting there watching Mr. Rogers as a child. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now, I put the popcorn bucket up. Here, but that doesn't actually make sense. I think this popcorn bucket should be on the ground here because it would have. She threw it; it would have fallen, and that's it. So it'd be down there. But we still. I remember I said that I had to remember. Bo still had his popcorn bucket, so I can <coughs> let me Sorry, I get... erase Felicia's popcorn bucket here, and Bo is still carrying his popcorn bucket and um, if you're looking at someone who's about to throw a drink at you I guess you sort of tense up a bit so I can't have his arm relaxing down here on his lap as I originally drew it maybe he's grabbing his popcorn bucket face in day. here and now the hand will be up here on the popcorn bucket one two three four fingers and <coughs> get the shoulders back there so he's this shoulder is up a little bit the arm comes down and he's got a grip 
on the popcorn bucket, which I think I'll have to make look better in the future. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, where's the other hand? It can't be on his lap, obviously. Uh, let's get her. Where is my Dixon Ticonderoga pencil? I didn't do anything with it. I don't have it. I don't know where it is. <laughs> Let's have some popcorn. Oh, there it is. No, um, I'm thinking he's got his hand up here gesturing. Sort of in a, don't you dare. He's about to castigate Fido for his temerity. Ooh, big words. But the finger's got a slight waver to it. As he's sort of given up any authority he might actually have ever owned. I don't say control most of the authority. Hmm. Respect my authority. Uh, we've got an arm of a chair here that I'm missing right there. A little detail like that you gotta not forget and there's an arm of a chair where is it about right there now Bo's hands are no longer on his knees so let's erase those and we can just draw the pants as normal I think we're gonna bring his legs together Let's not forget the famous bow shoe, which is just a, like a slipper. Yeah, he's got his knees together. Gives you sort of the impression of the nervousness he's going through, dealing, uh, being between a dog and a cat, who fight like cats and dogs. Well, this is a surprise. I thought for sure I'd have Sidney Sweeney on the desk at the entire time, but <laughs> instead we've got Ghostbusters, Frozen Empire, and Theaters Now. Rated PG. Well, I'm that's no fun. positive they edited the uh, lesbian relationship with the 15 year old girl out of it. <laughs> Yeah, but both of them are like in their twenties. Yes, <laughs> I, I don't no, want to know. know. I don't want to know what a what a fifteen year old girl wants to do in her bedroom. It's none of my business. Uh, they made Superman, his bo son, his underage son, into a um, homosexual man. Uh, it's none of our business. We don't need to know what Superman's son wants to do with the with his blue haired boyfriend. Mm. So I'm thinking they they really dodged a bullet by not um by not pursuing that, but they probably well they 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 still got their points from Black Rock in the uh, in, in 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 the community that supports all yeah all that. We gotta put more popcorn all on the ground here, so and I'm gonna make all that area popcorn. Because all of Felicia, see all underneath Fido is all popcorn. Because Felicia just threw a full bucket at him. That bitch. That bitch, yeah. And it's just at this point when he's about to throw the drink that Dino notices something's going on over here. Because, you know, he's sitting here with his beer <laughs> in the theater. So, do you think uh, they're watching Ghostbusters Frozen Empire here? Is that why, well, is that why they went to, to film? No, Barbie. Barbie, that's a long time ago. That's true. Did, did they see Barbie? No, I don't think Fido saw Barbie. No, that's a joke. But it might be Ghostbusters. Oh, Barbie. speaking of films that we're interested in, yes. we just saw the trailer for the Alien Romulus. Yeah. And it's it, it's got our it's got our attention. We're yeah. we're hoping for another good film. Yeah, could be could be 
good. Could be good. They've gone back to the whole uh, feeling of the Nostromo from the first Alien film. Mm -hmm. So it's like that retro-futuristic look. And uh, they say that they've used mostly practical effects, but have used CGI where necessary. And absolutely, the face huggers are all CGI because they, they jump around. They're a lot more uh, animated than yeah, they ever were. Right, yeah, no, that's interesting. It's, it, it's very interesting. <clears throat> all right, so we're looking forward to Alien Romulus. And it's also an Alien TV show coming out like nearly at the same time. So we're going to be uh, inundated with the whole Alien universe. Mm -hmm. uh, well, hopefully it's good. Mm -hmm. I don't mind if it's good. Well, yes, hopefully it's good rather than um, just passing. Mm -hmm. But uh, let's see, where are our papers? Do, do, do. It's good that we're not in a rush here. I can like stop and go through <laughs> the papers and not have to worry about the audience uh, being bored. play the music. <laughs> wow, is it really the last piece of paper? No, it's not even the last piece of paper. Why would you look at any more paper? <laughs> I mean in the pulp pile. Oh, uh, here we go. Yeah. Um, what can we say about Alien? Uh, <laughs> stick a chicken and make her game. Well, here's the thing. Uh, it, it, it makes sense to have a female protagonist in Alien because it's a whole egg thing, the mother and... Uh, and it, it was Ripley, it was, so I mean... As they originally wrote the script, it, it was sort of non-sexual. and any A man or a woman could have played any of the roles of any of those space truckers that was originally on the... Uh, mm -hmm. And it would have been a completely different film if Ripley was a man. It may not have been as good. I don't think it would have been any different. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I don't think it would have been any different at all. Uh, we we probably would not have wanted to see the guy stripped down into his underwear, but... Sleep for yourself. <laughs> but yes, I, I do have fond memories of Sigourney Weaver as a younger woman stripping down to her underwear. Yes, and she was... She was a tomato, as, they would, as the young guys would say. Tomato, he right. was quite a tomato. Just like uh, Trinity was quite the tomato. What did you, when she's just appeared in the... Oh, yes. Let's go back to the Acolyte. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Carrie Ann Moss has to be... Carrie like Ann Moss from uh, the Matrix is in the uh, Acolyte. And uh, the Acolyte seems to um, be taking a lot of inspiration from the Matrix because now we have Jedi Kung Fu. Oh. Yes. Uh, no guns and no men. No white men. No guns and no white men. Would, sorry. <laughs> no Keanu Reeves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, so, well, yes, there can be no Keanu Reeves in Star Wars. Oh, that, that would probably... I don't know. That might work, depending on what he's putting. The, 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 yeah. Yeah. They would, they would, they would, they would destroy him. They would ruin his they career. Could destroy him, yeah, yes, Disney ruins careers, and nothing ruins careers worse than Star Wars. You know, so Luke I is think um, Keanu at this point, I think he's he. He's career proof. Well, mm -hmm. no, I don't think he's career. I think he could like retire tomorrow, and I think he'd be fine. Like I don't. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm just. I don't yeah. think he's the type of guy who's going to be looking for like the. The big accolades when he's... Oh, we, uh, we don't want Keanu to retire. Oh, no. Oh, no. We like our Keanu. We, we do. We very much like our Keanu. Hmm. But as we all know, the story of the Acolyte is rather similar to that of Patty Duke. There are identical cousins or whatever. <laughs> uh, we have one actress who's so goddamn talented that they chose... They wrote this... They wrote this thing for her back in 2016 and have been waiting all these years to finally put it on the screen. And it's going to flop. <laughs> nah, it's going to be the it's going to be the savior of Star Wars, the greatest <laughs> thing you've ever seen. I've got the uh, douche chills that I had when I saw the Eternals. Yeah. <laughs> when I see this when I see this film. <laughs> yeah, but the Eternals was really that was 
It gives you douche chills. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when I said I wanted to get rid of some of your vile, <laughs> or crude, uh, Cru uh, language. Some of my crude language. Mm. <laughs> I cannot, do you have a blue pencil over there? Yeah, probably, but I'm not stopping work to look for it. Uh huh. <laughs> so, let's make sure we tell the chief colors that there are stripes on the popcorn. Yeah. The stripes on the popcorn? Yeah, on the barrel. The oh, okay. And, uh. <clears throat> so, I'm thinking with this hand here, he's sort of holding it like, you know, he's just done that you know, with his hand to wipe off the. But okay, is there anything better I could do with his left hand? That's what she said. Mm. Mm. Would it be in a fist? Uh, if it's in a fist, it's giving you the idea that he's going to hit the animals, and Ooh, we don't no, want no, no. that. Yeah, so I think it's best if I just leave the hand open as if he's just like flecked off water. Or soda, as the case may be. Did you check to make sure you're still recording? Oh, okay, let's check. Oh, well, we're doing on time. An hour and six minutes. Ooh. And we already have the name. Watch this on streaming. <laughs> <laughs> okay, as far as the Aqualite goes, um, you don't have to watch it on streaming. That's okay. <laughs> it's on Disney Plus, so I'm sure none of you have that anyway, so there's... No, no concern. <laughs> it everything on Disney Plus, it's like a fart in the wind. No one's ever gonna. Oh, please <laughs> don't use that term. Please. No if one's ever gonna see it. From one of the guys on YouTube. Oh. Oh. Nobody's ever gonna see it. It's just gonna go quietly away. Um, and a lot of guys on YouTube are going to make fun of it, and you enjoy that. Just watch. Watch what watch what Mala has to say about it. Um, <laughs> He'll probably have four or six hours <laughs> to wait, tell you. Wait, how many how many hours is, is it? This total? is well, actually, yeah, you're right. The, I think this is like an eight episode season of a TV show. Okay, so it's going so, to be like a twenty four hour Mala. Yeah, Mala. Yeah, yeah, yeah Mala's can't do uh, eight, uh, that in under a couple of days. You're right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's actually meaning a part two. <laughs> It'll be six hours for each episode. The little platoon could do it in four hours, but yeah. well, Mahler is, or Desperatu, yes, but. All right. So we're um. We're running into our uh, end of our show. We're gonna finally have a show without any inking. I don't oh think we haven't done that in a long time. <clears throat> well, you can watch this on streaming. <laughs> <laughs> what was that you said? Watch it, watch yeah. it on streaming. Yeah, gotta get that. Uh, gotta get that title in. Well, that's our recommendation for uh, <laughs> just about everything. I can't see going to a theater these days because, well, they got dogs and cats in there um, throwing popcorn <laughs> and cokes and soda around. Soda, around. And by golly, it's just too expensive. One of the one of the reasons why uh, theaters are going out of business is. Does, does anyone remember the sticky floor and? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Dealing with other people, there's always some asshole or his phone going off or, or someone talk, talking through the film. I'll Who's that? Who's that? What's he do? <laughs> I'll never forget the time we were so concerned about the little kids that were at, that, at the movie. And the kids said nothing. The mother talked the whole way through. <laughs> yeah. We went to a, a film and we said, oh shit, there are kids here. They're going to be... Because it wasn't a kid's film. It was like yeah. the day after tomorrow, so, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's one of those stupid... One of, it was like an action flick or something. And the kids, I mean, not mm. that the kids couldn't see it. There was nothing really bad in it. But it wasn't the kind of show. show. Like, they were the only kids there, and they were pretty young. 
and we're like, oh, they're gonna, they were right next to us, and we're like, oh, they're probably gonna talk, and blah, 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 and they said nothing. The mother talked the whole mm-hmm. way through. And she was the type who read everything on the screen. Like, oh, that's a no enter sign. <laughs> oh, look, it's a mom. <laughs> yeah, thanks, mom. <laughs> And we got piles of popcorn on the floor here, which, well. I swept it up. Oh, you mean on the strip? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. <coughs> so, like, why go to a theater? You'll have dogs and cats living together. Mass hysteria. <laughs> I'm waiting for that. Another Ghostbuster uh, reference there. <coughs> All right, Irving. Thank you for pulling out there. Uh, so, uh, I'm guessing Ghostbusters will do well in the theater. Yeah, I know the Acolyte will do poorly on streaming, but it doesn't matter. As I stated last week, if you're a bad filmmaker, you don't want to have to go into theaters like poor Ghostbusters has. Go right to streaming. You can Disney can claim whatever numbers they want. This is going to be the biggest, most popular streaming show ever to appear between like 6 a.m. and uh, 8 p.m., on uh, we leap year, uh, third day of what am I doing here? Dino's pants in the second. Dino's pants in the second. Uh, yeah. I think he has pants on. No, he doesn't. He doesn't have pants on. No, what, what you're looking that? at here is the uh, his Fido's leg. Well, I don't know. No, 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 that's Dino somewhere. Well, <laughs> let's see oh, what we think. Well, what are we thinking here, folks? This is Fido's leg, and here is the. Um, balustrade so actually we probably should have like a round balustrade here so I screwed up by actually not having the balustrade at all so what I think the chief colorist thinks is that I should just get in here and do all these dots and call that Dino's pants well because it's rounded like a leg yeah it works the rest of his leg it disappears behind the balustrade so mm-hmm. that's it all right there you go chief colorist you did it with a marker right yeah, don't worry about it. All right, we're going to uh, wrap this one up because we are uh, one hour and 12 minutes. Yeah, I like to keep it under a dog, uh, hour 20. Under a dog? Uh, what can I do for another eight minutes without getting into something new and fresh? <coughs> well, it's raining outside. Oh, we've got to talk about the weather, huh? Yeah. Please hmm. care me when you start. Ready, <laughs> please. I'm just thinking that... Um, they didn't get the memo here when they decided to, when they put the green light on the acolyte. <laughs> they didn't get the memo, yeah? <laughs> they didn't get the right light for the acolyte? Uh, it's, it's, it comes a time, Hollywood, where you just have to take a particular tool out of your toolbox, and that toolbox is the girl boss. And this is going to be the girl bossiest girl boss that we've ever girl boss in, in the girl boss universe before. So that tool needs to come out of the box, you think? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, we don't need to use that tool anymore. <clears throat> All right, uh, what would I be doing? I was going to torture you people for another uh, 20 minutes or so. 20 minutes? I thought you said 20 Well, you know, we're up to uh, 8 minutes if I want to get to 120. Um, oh, really? You're yeah. I think I've entertained everyone enough today. Take off, and we don't have to put the um, cap back on the ink bottle this week. Wow, it's, we haven't done that in a while. Oh yeah. yeah. Hmm. Oh. Anybody have some popcorn if you got it? And um, watch we'll see this. See you next week. Watch and this on streaming. 